That's why it is so critical. That's why it is so important for faith to be stored in the heart. Stored. Like Fort Knox. You know what I'm saying? Stored. Vaults. Armories. Whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Stored. You got surplus. You're... You ready and then some. What? What's happening? What's going on? You've got what stored? Faith stored. How does faith come? By hearing the word of God. The word of God is the source, the genesis of faith. If you want faith stored in your heart, you're going to have to have God's word stored in your heart. That way you'll know what to say in every situation. Then you'll know what to say in any given circumstance. Any given circumstance. You'll be sitting there, rain's blowing, and everything's going on, and it sounds like the roof's going to lift off, this and that, the lights go out, and your friend says, oh, the lights went out. You say, lights on. No, I call power restored here in Jesus' name. No, 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 no. And then it would come to pass. And then you'd be like, well, maybe before the storm starts. There's no power disruption in my house. It can happen next door. (laughs) Well, if it's happening next door, shut up, shut up. Stop your words. Bite your tongue. Bite your tongue right now. What are they going to say? If it goes out next door, Pastor, it's going to hit you. Not, that's not even, that's a lie. Take the word out of it. There were 4,000 customers without service. Okay, 4,000 ones right there. That's right. Hello. That's right. And guess what? They playing with a light. They 4,000 one, they taunting 4,000. It's a lie. Don't even bring that mess in here. The word of God says, though, which is stored in my heart, a thousand will fall. Right by my side. 10,000 going to die my right hand. It won't touch me. Won't come any nearer than that to me. Can't come through the shield of favor. The blessing of the blessing. What do you believe what you say? What you say is going to come to pass. Believe those things that you say shall come to pass. Believe those things which you say shall come to pass. If you didn't believe they'd come to pass, why when you get mad, you just start throwing words all over the place? And louder and more, because you want them to have what you're saying. So you can't even play this off. You have what you say. So start on the good, what, quit doing what the world conditions you to do. Talking about stuff. Small people talk about stuff. Yeah, small people talk about stuff. They small because they ain't grown up yet. Big folk talk to stuff. Got no time to talk to you about it or I'll talk to it. (laughs) I tell you what, this ain't happening again. Who are you talking to? I was just talking. I don't need to be be talking to you. Talking to it. Tell you what, this don't have another second of life in my life. Tell you what, this can never come back up in any other form ever again in my life. I'll tell you something. <laughs> come on. That's good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have complete victory over this. Yeah. This doesn't have the power to hold me back. Amen. It's meant to take me out. But God uses it to take me up. When you got the word stored in your heart. I said when you got the word faith stored, that's why it's so critical. This isn't games, y'all, or tests. Like, no, I'll get to it when I get to it. This is life. This, this is the way you win. This is critical. This is a lifestyle. Are you with me?